Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is another day of the Mineshaft. Technically for Minecraft, but today guys, we're not focused on Minecraft right now. We're focused on a Mineshaft in GTA 5. Normally when you think of Mineshaft, you'll think of Minecraft, because Minecraft is a really Mineshafty game. It's all, it has the same name, Mine, Mine, Mineshaft, yeah. So today guys, Remember at the last video when we went to the mine shafts, the last two? Well, this is another one because this time we're going to be using, we already used all of the three characters at once. This time we got to see what, we already seen what my, what Franklin's point of view is. Today we're going to be doing uh, Michael and Trevor's point of view. Because apparently it looks like some characters might have di different point of views. That's what happens in some of these types of things in GTA 5 when you find a little thing. Characters might see different things than the other characters. So we're going to go to the mineshaft as uh, someone else today. It's not going to be Franklin. Franklin, you can just sit at home and enjoy yourself. You might be needed later, but we'll get we'll pick you up later, Franklin. Might be. Well, we're going to be doing this from different perspective, guys. A whole new perspective. So we're going to use Michael first. And so you just somehow get to control it. Nothing even happens. Yeah, everybody rages. It's a little thing. Probably it's if I'm a film Michael. producer's wife, I gotta what look the part. I guess you okay. do. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay so, um. Hey, guys. Oh, let's just go into the vehicle. So let's go ahead and head over to the mine shaft. Wait a minute, let me check his weapon though. Michael, do you have a flashlight? A gun with a flashlight. Oh yes, he does. Oh goody. He's gonna be needing that. Now he's gonna go ahead and go to the mine shaft. Which is, I'm pretty sure you guys know where it's at. Me, myself, when I do these videos, I normally don't like where things are at. So, bear with me right here. I'm pretty sure you guys know where it's at. It's on the last video that we've done. Last two videos. If you haven't... If this, this is the first video that you've seen by me, if you're any new to this channel, just feel free to subscribe. It's After all, it's free. You're kind of missing out a little bit. I should say that. You're missing out on some fun things that have been happening for a little bit. And don't miss out on any future videos. Up to see you guys in your comments listed down below these videos. I, I very much appreciate these comments and your guys' support to my videos. Thank you. And as we get more and more into these mind into these this video, this is like this is the first conspiracy video that I've been into so much, but it's really much a figure the fact of figuring out why those officer games at a mind shift. If you go even deeper and deeper, there's more things to ask why about why would there be a mind shift in GTA? Why would Rockstar even have this Easter egg? Either that they're trying to tell us something or they're they're just having it in there for fun. We don't know these things, okay? I mean the Easter egg may be already solved, but there's still a lot that's more unsolved. Why would it? Why would it even be in a game like this? That's technically about stealing a car, which technically goes back to that. This game's mostly about having fun and just destroying the world, or whatever. Just stealing a car, doing things your way, not coming to conspiracies or all that. That's what this game was supposed to be about. But why would they yeah, add one for the these pot. things called Easter eggs in this game? Think about it, why? I mean, if, feel free to leave your theories in this video. I'm not saying that I'm most like, even though I'm most likely not going to do it, but feel free to leave them in the, in the video. You know what I'm saying? Just feel free, okay? I'd be, I'd be happy to um, hear your guys' request for the video. Uh, um, I'd be much appreciated. I'd love to hear, just to look at your theories and whatnot of what you guys would be thinking 
anything that would you guys suggest just suggest it don't be afraid I'll do it like so just let me know you guys want me to do something you know show you something that you guys may not know about then I'd be happy to do it okay there's the body it's just is this the same body or is this something different? there's nothing different nothing's happening you see this I think it's just the body they just say nothing All right, let's have a bit of a wait and see what happens. We're gonna be sitting in this mine shaft for a couple minutes. Okay, you do hear a bit of a, a bit cave sounds, but that's utterly normal. That's about it. It's just like a, the only thing that's here is just a body. And I did hear rumors about bodies being like on the sides of sides when you walk in and everything, but I'm not catching anything. Guys, let's go more. Let's go more and more down this way. I know I haven't got shown you guys this way. But I know all all this is it just continues on more and more and more and more and more and more and more. But if anything, uh, let's just see. Let, there's only one way of finding out, guys. We have to find out somehow. Wait, was that in GTA Online? And that just leads to a dead end. All these just lead to dead ends, technically. So apparently... Let's try, let's try leaving Michael in the mine shafts, deep in the mine shafts. And then let's go to Trevor. Let's see, let's see what happens if we just leave a character. Okay, Trevor's just nearby, he's just not even nearby, he's just far away. Okay, let's sleep. Sorry about this, Trevor, but I gotta control you. This All make right. my loyalty card invalid. How the heck are you, friend? Oh, Trevor, say the ah. weird, weirdest stuff ever. All right, let's leave Michael there. And let's see how that works. Because, uh, you know, if you leave a character in a place, because uh, the doors would automatically close on him, technically. If he, if he somehow teleports out or gets out, I'm gonna be pretty much not not surprised because it's a closed off place. So let's go let's go back to the mine shaft. Michael should still be there right now. He'll be there until like another until you unless you uh, swap your character and you get near him, or after like a long period of time he'll just be at his house or something. Normally they'll be. Your swarm mode characters would be wh right where you're leaving in the session. Sometimes just nearby walking around. So they shouldn't like leave the area. They should be programmed to just be nearby walking around. Okay. I noticed I haven't uh, discovered the tunnel fully, but I actually already have discovered the tunnels fully. But if you guys want to see, just let me know. If you guys want to see, I'll do a video and just explore the entire tunnels. Right now, I'm more focused on that, that one general area right now. Earlier on, I did check and see that there's no, nothing there. There's nothing even there. I didn't see anything, but if you guys see something, just let, list it below in the comments and I'll go back there and check it out, because it could be connected to what we're trying to dig up here. So technically, apparently this could be an old Easter egg. This is Rambler, two-man Charlie, you out there? I'm pretty 
pretty sure you guys all know about this. So I'm really ridiculous. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys all know about this uh, Easter egg. I don't even know, but look, there's a, I know there's something missing about these Easter eggs. But if you guys watch any other YouTubers, I'm pretty sure they're probably missing a little something. They're not much digging into it. I should say that. Nothing wrong with it, but they're like not digging into it as much. It's, there's something that they're leaving out. Why would it be be in this game? Any other game, any other horror game, but this game, why would it be in here? Why would Rockstar be putting Easter eggs in the first place? Is it their signature move? Why would it be their signature move? You know? I would see if you really pay attention an explosion to the conspiracy thing, what I'm digging up here. Why would Rockstar add Easter eggs in the first place? Because this is not technically what this game is about. Yeah. See, honestly, this is not technically what this game is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about three characters doing missions. You know, and then focusing on life and fixing the life afterwards. That's legit what this is. The story is mainly about. But then all of a sudden, they really, they actually secretly want you to finish missions in a certain way just to find things. Like how how insane is that? Watching if you put all the conspiracy videos together on YouTube, you would probably understand. What I'm trying to dig up here. You'll probably understand what I'm trying to dig up here, and then, yeah. So, let's go ahead and head back to the mine shaft. Let's go ahead and come down to the mines. Once you get to the mines, we're going to see from Trevor's perspective of the bottom. Because the body's still there, it doesn't look like anything's changed with Michael from the looks of it. Okay. We already, so nothing even happens when you bring all characters, like no events, like nothing, the body's still there. I think it's just a mine. Could be just a mine shaft with the body, and they just want a perspective from Red Dead or something. Okay, it's over there. They just want a little perspective from Red Dead. You know, because they just want to represent, okay, we like Red Dead, let's celebrate. You know, because one time they were celebrating with Red Dead. Could have been, that could, could have been what it was remaining off of. Either for that purpose, or they're, they're just trying to tell us something that Red Dead honestly links to this and this could be the future future generation of Red Dead because the Red Dead probably took place before this which honestly it did in that current timeline but timeline in games because uh, even though this was developed by the same developers and the same companies and everything Rockstar, Rockstar Games North and uh, in the UK and all that even though they're all connected together, but let's just say that Michael should still be in these tunnels. Trevor, you have no flashlights whatsoever, but you should be fine. Alright, let's just go ahead and go find Michael. He should still be in these tunnels. If he's not, I'm gonna be hella. I just heard that. Well, that was Trevor. Alright. Honestly, he should, um, where is Michael? He said the body's still here, nothing's happening. 
Honestly, guys, this is the first series that I've ever done. So, if you guys can smash that like goal. Let's set the like goal to 40 on this video. If you guys can smash that, I'd be much appreciated. Brings me extra support. Yeah, there's nothing. Where did he go? So apparently the the character would just disappear and just whoa. Don't don't even want to know how he got all the way over here, but apparently they just teleport out of here if you leave them here and they hey, they're baby, just going to go do their original just thing. Like what what they're just Happily doing. Okay. That's cool, I guess. They want you to be good. So apparently they want they don't like it when you leave the character alone. They want you to be controlling the character. Apparently, they want you to be controlling the character. But it looks like we found nothing on the mine shaft. Apparently, we just cracked it. It's just technically just to uh, support the Red Dead and show them, hey, hey, please try Red Dead the game, Red Dead Redemption 2, Red Dead Redemption 1, and we'd be, you know, they're probably trying to get more people into Red Dead as well and keep it well balanced because Red Dead also supports GTA. At some points, Red Dead does celebrate GTA, and GTA 5 series did celebrate the Red Dead thing, which uh, lowered the bounty hunting license. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting it. It's all you gotta do is just do a lot of missions, you know, here and there. Just have, just have like a a rookie friend just come in, cause you know they have all the missions, and you can get more gold off of them. But this thing, guys. We just cracked it, and I hope to see you guys on my new video. Um, I sh once I get more storage in my laptop, I should be doing videos on there soon. You'll see, you'll see my the original intro back again. Right now, it's just out of storage. I just haven't been doing anything on it right now. So uh, when it, once it gets more and more uh, data space and everything, I'll be able to upload more vids on uh, you know Roblox and all that. So. Hope to see you guys there. You'll be seeing the new intro soon. Then you might, you guys might miss the new, the uh, regular intro. It's not even a new intro, but it's still kind of old. It's the original intro. It would be back again soon. But guys, listen. Thank you for your support, and let's go ahead and continue this. But this series is now pretty, pretty much has ended. We just cracked the code, so technically. Apparently we just found out that they just want us to just play Red Dead a little bit more and also play GTA at the same time. So they just want technically people to have both games at once and just play it every now and then. So that's what they're technically doing since there's been so many people in GTA they've just been adding like new easter eggs just to support Red Dead and like stories just to bring an eye catching to the game technically let's just say that because when you finish story mode it gets a little boring and some people like to mess around story mode so they might add like easter eggs in there you know just to say hey play our game more we're going to show you more interesting stuff that would you like to find out but listen guys thank you for watching this video and see you guys next time be sure to crack that like goal leave your theories in the comments below i'll be sure to see if i can crack them or pretty much we just cracked all the theories technically it's just they just want technically they just want us to be playing the game more often it's just an eye-catching thing there's really nothing more and yeah if you guys want to know how to blow up the train leave that in the comments down below i'll be happy to show you guys easily it's pretty easy it's just like a little parachute, parachute mission i'll just show you guys how to blow up the train Honestly, people, I realize, I've noticed people have been having, have been struggling with their little YouTube videos on trying to blow up the train and never been successful with it. I can show you guys how to actually blow it up. Just let me know in the comments down below and I'll do a video, but I'm gonna be doing the video anyways, I'm pretty sure you know. And I'll see you guys next time.